Most people in America are familiar with what is and isn't their rights. There are also people in America that want to bastardize our rights by playing in sexually inappropriate ways in someone's life. Since coming back to the mall area in which I could do better for my ministry and help people to better understand homelessness caused by identity theft, cybercrime, fraud on a person's name and life, people don't always want to call me the correct nickname, the correct moniker for one of my programs. They're too busy wanting to steal my intellectual property, which is a form of fraud. They want to take my identity, which is also a form of fraud. Police officers don't mind because of the illegalness of the records that they like to place on someone's life. Every false record they create becomes a litigation abuse. And openly, when they sexually assaulted a man without thinking about what they were doing at the time, thinking they were going to prove fraud in some way, they lied. They lied because all the documentation was changed a very, very long time ago. And what I mean by that is the protection of my life and my sibling's life because of the age, stage, generation, and station and status of my late father's life. Maritime law applies to every law enforcement officer across the nation based on people's ages of who was grandfathered in to that program. Being that my father is of a level of lieutenant colonel, that doesn't afford me freedom. It affords me certain rights. And those rights have been aided, not at all, they've been abetted and abused by law enforcement officers across multiple states, except for the few in Ohio that decided not to abuse my rights.